they'll take out democratically elected officials and they replace them with dictators that they support. Right. <laughs> Dude, wild. I went to li- you know what if I- listen, this freaked me out. This freaked me out a little bit. So uh, I used to do t- I would do this bit with fucking Muammar Gaddafi, right? Muammar Gaddafi, and it was true, I did this fake bomb thing. And everyone always say, ah, Muammar Gaddafi, blah, blah. And then I found out, because you remember growing up, that whole thing with Libya? Yeah. You were like, Muammar Gaddafi's fucking, he's a werewolf. He's, we got to kill him. He shot six missiles at a U.S. plane. And we, and we fucking bombed him. And then Clinton came in, killed him, took him out. Right? Well, it was during the Obama administration, wasn't it, that he got killed? I believe it was when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State that they, they overthrew Libya. Was that, is that the case? Jamie's going to Google it. So I see... But there was like some but, sh- there was there's always some financial shit to well, these things. It's well, always like trying to get off the US dollar or someone well, someone does something crafty. Well, check this out. So um I, you know, I see Farrakhan, you know, white people meet like goddamn devil. Black guy hates white people, you know, whatever. They can't they already write him off. Right. But I'm listening to him and he starts talking about why they killed Muammar Gaddafi. And and now, I'm, I'm dumb as a rock that you know that by now. Basically, he was saying, we're not going to need the banking system. We're not going to need um, your system, your dollar. We're going to, we, we got our own. Everyone here educated, no homeless people. We pay for everything. We pay for medical. We share our revenue. And we're going to start uniting the whole continent. I was like, what? He goes, that's why they killed him. And he goes on and on and on. Dude, on my life. So last year I went to Tanzania, right? And you know, I'm talking to the people there and I just start going, hey, uh, it was me. You know Vinnie Brand? Yeah. I was with Vinnie Brand. Burn him on safari. Dude, oh. you gotta go. All right, so we're hanging out there and he, the guy goes, I go, hey man, remember, um, we're talking about a lot of things. We're talking about a lot of things going on in America, but one of the things we hit is Libya. Um, Muammar Gaddafi, what'd you think of Muammar Gaddafi? And all of them, they were like, oh, he's a great African, great African, great African. I'm like, really? Well, we were told he was like this monster, this terrorist. Like, we, we, we bombed him. We were like cheering that we bombed him. And they were, no, I said, why were they, why was he so good? He goes, he was good to the, all the Africans. He, 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 gave us, he gave us education. He gave us water. He gave us all our needs. And, and, and if we couldn't get it here and we went somewhere else, we'd, we'd do it for him. He was he's very good for Africa. I said, what happened since he left on my kids' lives? This guy goes, Libya, worst sex trafficking. The worst sex trafficking so that fucked me so now think about that we demonize this place and we were told one thing i'm not saying that's not what it was what i'm saying is like what really happened well the the first of all the state collapsed and when the state collapses criminals take over and one of the things that you saw in libya at one point in time although i did get some messages through a friend of mine uh that some libyan people wanted me to know that Libya, like uh, the cities in Libya, have recovered. They're not like as crazy as they were. Um, you know, that might be national pride that they're saying this. I don't know. I don't, yeah, know. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what the story is. Maybe yeah. they're much better. Maybe they're judging it on a scale or whatever it was. But there's you, there was YouTube videos of open air slavery. So you'd watch people bid on people and you could watch it on YouTube. And that was in Libya. That was after they killed Gaddafi. Did you ever see the the video footage of them killing him? No. Oh. Oh, you have to see it. Dude. When the rebels grab hold of Gaddafi and they realize they have him and he realizes that they have him and there's high resolution cameras now because this was like 2012, I believe. Somebody was? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around then? The end of 2011, yeah. 2011? Um, You know, you could get like high resolution cameras. And so they're filming this guy who was a dictator for years, and they finally have captured him. And 
who knows who's funding them? Who know how do they get the Nobody money? Knows. How do they get the guns? Who knows? What, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what the conflict is, but right. I'm just saying the video of him getting killed is fucking terrifying. Because there's a look in his face where he knows there's no way out of this. He's trying to figure out a way out of this, and right. he knows there's no way out of this. And one guy takes a bayonet, like a, a big long knife, and shoves it up his ass. Oh. Just shoves it right up his ass. While he's standing there and he barely reacts he barely reacts he's in such shock that he barely reacts to a knife getting shoved up his ass 